Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Not going to do a long sermon tonight, even though it's Sunday. Going to do a short sermon because um, my mic has been messed up. It goes in, it goes out. There's no rhyme or reason as to why. I got a new cord that's not working, but I want to give you guys something. So I'm going to give you what I read from the chapter of the Bible today. <laughs> going to give you a little something, something there. I also caught a little head cold or something from when I went out of state. So that's an issue as well. Please pray for me. Thank you very much. And but so I want, I'm like I'm not going to just not preach. I'm going to give them something with my voice and with the mic. <laughs> And whatever. And here's what it's going to be. It's going to be out of Joshua chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 12. Caleb is talking to Joshua. Now Caleb and Joshua both, they were the only two men out of all the Israelites that survived the 40 years in the wilderness and were allowed to go into the promised land because they gave a good report amongst all the other spies. And they said, the Lord is able to give us this land. The other ten said, no, there's no way we can do it. So they died. All the, And that entire generation died in the wilderness, but not Joshua and Caleb. So Caleb says to Joshua, Now therefore give me this mountain, of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me, and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave Hebron to Caleb the son of Jephunneh as an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite to this day, because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron formerly was Kirjath Arba. Arba was the greatest man among the Anakim, and the land had rest from war. And I am aware I pronounced Hebron as Hebron in that last statement. I did notice that just to beat you to the punch. When you obey God, there is blessing. Spiritually, solically, and physically, there are blessings for obedience. So if I've been disobedient recently because I've got that, gotten the sickness, not necessarily sickness isn't that directly correlated to sin or anything like that. That is not a true belief. You study the Word of God, you find out that's not accurate. <laughs> Sometimes stuff happens. Sometimes bad stuff happens. I'm thankful that it's only a small head cold or whatever and a sore throat that I got from going out of state. I'm glad that's all I got and nothing more. I'm still going to pump out these videos. The mic quality will just make it worse. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to make it through. Contact me. Contact me. Unless tomorrow. this sickness just starts to royally kick my rear and I'm just like, I don't want to move. Still want to really call blue. And um, get this Blue Yeti um, fixed and right, or at least get a new one very, very quickly and keep making content for you guys. So when you follow the Lord, you're allowed to ask for blessing. The Lord's blessing and favor is on you when you follow Him. So don't be ashamed to pray for yourself. Don't be ashamed to ask big things of your God because He is a big God. He loves to give good gifts to His children. If we who are evil know to give our sons and daughters good gifts, is he going to give us a snake? Is he going to give us scorpions? No. He, he knows above anyone else how to give good gifts to his kids. Jesus said that. That's in the Bible. Google is your friend. I love you guys. God bless.